Your character, Ben Gross, was first introduced as Davy's nemesis. As the seasons have progressed, their relationship dynamic has changed plenty of times. So how does season four give closure to all of their interactions? Um, I think that when you first see Ben and Davy's relationship, it's very different from how they finish it. And I think that, like, when you first meet Ben and he's, like, loud and obnoxious and, and kind of crude and, and a little bit difficult to love at times. And then throughout the series, when there have been ups and downs, the person that Ben has gone to most of the time has been Davy. In the fourth season, she literally gives Ben the shirt off of her back to help him out. And I think that that says a lot about their relationship. I think that it's so representative of the kindness and care that they have for each other. And I think, like, they just have a magnetism. They just always find each other, like... You see later in the season, like, when Davy has all of that pressure with the clean sweep and that she doesn't actually get in anywhere, Ben immediately rushes to go find her. And when there's such a big life event like Nirmala's wedding, Ben just, he has to go back. He has to confess his feelings. He has to tell Davy that he loves her. And I think that it's beautiful. I think that, like, although they've had ups and downs, they've grown up together and they've learned kind of how to be a better partner for each other. And you see that, like, they go off to college starting out together and, and who knows if they stay together but i think that their foundation is really strong and yes the odds are stacked against them in terms of long distance but if anyone can do it and, and defy the odds i think that that's ben and davy's thing so you never know yeah and uh, how you mentioned like they go to each other even if they don't like each other at the time like they will always have each other's backs i really like that about their relationship <laughs> so speaking of growing up what was your experience like being able to work and grow among other young actors over the years while you're filming the show. It's so formative. You know, I think like, especially I just turned 18. I'd graduated from JJ Pierce high school in Richardson and I was performing with Pierce at nationals for theater. We did Shakespeare in love when I was a senior in high school and it was June. And then I had graduation. And then two weeks later I moved out to start the show so it was like I literally was freshly out of Texas, dropped into L.A., and the crazy thing is, is and I did school at the same time, I, I went to USC, and like, the people that I met are the reason that I'm the person that I am today, whether it was the cast, whether it was the crew, whether it was Mindy and Lang, or directors that have had such a big impact on me, both personally and professionally, I grew a lot. I grew up with Ben, I learned, even from the writing sometimes, about like striving to be a perfectionist, but realizing that that's not possible and that you have to just do your best. Whatever that ends up being, you just have to try your best, but you can't be perfect. And I think that I grew up in college. I grew up around my co-stars I, and I'm still growing. I'm still growing up. You know, I'm still young. And I think like you grow throughout your entire life. That's a process that never ends. And I think that that's really special. And that's both speaking professionally and personally. I think that you're always learning something new when you meet new people. That's, that's what life is about, right? It's about talking to people, hearing their stories, their experiences, and then learning from those. And that's how you become, I guess, like well-rounded, you know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so this season is similar to some of the past seasons because, of course, you have to have the drama and the teen angst that we come to never have I ever for, right? <laughs> um, and, uh, yes, and that, you know, all of the stuff that the characters deal with. But like you were saying just now, it also shows a lot of growth between the characters. So to speak more specifically on Ben, how would you describe his growth through this season? Because it was a lot. <laughs> I think the season is very authentic in terms of the portrayal of senior year. I think that like, yeah, you, you've got some ups and downs and you're wondering how you can position yourself and put yourself in the best spot for the next chapter of your life. Whether that's applying and getting into college, whether that's trying to start this relationship that you've been like kindling for the last four years of high school and just kind of like sending it, right, for lack of a better term. I think that Ben is realizing who he wants to be in the future, who he wants to be, the type of young man he wants to be when he goes off to college. And I always say, I, I actually, uh, my football coach at J.J. Pierce, Coach David Collins, he always used to say that you're the average of your five closest friends. I don't think that Ben necessarily has five close friends yet, but I think that he's realizing that when he surrounds himself with people like Davey that push him to be better but also push him to be vulnerable, that's where he has had the biggest growth in terms of his identity and becoming the person that he's proud of. 
that's what he needs to look for in college when he goes off to Columbia. And yes, it will be scary. And I think he knows that, but he still has her to lean on and he will meet other people that will eventually become that five average. And hopefully they're really good people that push him and nurture him at the same time. So Davy's best friends, Eleanor and Fabiola, both have vastly different interests from her. So if you could choose one character's interest to kind of steal for Ben, what would that be? You know what? I would love for him to, like, open himself up a little bit and and get into the craft of acting. I think, like, he struggles with opening up. He struggles with, like, kind of allowing people to see his emotions when he's frustrated, upset, or whatever. I think that that would really be healthy for him in terms of process for his emotionality and his growth as well. Like, art was definitely something that kind of was a catalyst for a lot of big moments in terms of vulnerability for him last season and then leading up into this season. And I think that, like, acting is the next step in that journey. Like, then he's putting himself on display. Not only his creations, which he does with his paintings and his illustrations, but being able to be like, okay, now you're going to go perform and you're going to give a piece of yourself to that audience because that's really what acting is about. And I'd love that. Maybe you'd be good at it. You never know. There's a lot of stuff locked inside there. Like, just kind of, like, open that safe and let it pour out, you know? I really don't know if I could see Ben acting, but I really did not think you were going to answer like that because, yeah, that would be difficult to see that part of his personality, him, like, not be so just, like, strict and in a box, you know? Like, just kind of let loose a little bit. I love that. So at the end of season one, Ben and Davey share a very passionate kiss in the car that I know you talked about before. You said you were nervous about it. So now in the fourth season, do you still get nervous about romantic scenes? Um, you know, I think that it sort of depends on the scene. I think that the scene in uh, episode 410, again, the spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it yet, but I think the, the I love you scene and then what follows afterwards that was something that I was definitely nervous about. But the thing for me is because I knew that it was the culmination of the last four years, the last four seasons of zingers, of ups, of downs, of romance, of, of all of the like tumultuous adversity that they had gone through. Like That was the scene where you just pour it all out. So I knew how big that was. Um, but I think that also getting to do it with Maitre, who became one of my best friends in real life, and getting to have Lang as the director and the writer – for that episode, those were the best hands that I could have found myself in, in terms of calming me down, making me believe in myself, believe in what I was about to do, and then be able to take so much that my tree and the writing had given me in order to be successful and, and allowed me to give back on to her as well and to, to do the writing justice. And um, I will say that, not to like toot my own horn, but I, I think for me, in terms of pride, that is the scene I'm most proud of in my career thus far. I think that that is, again, a scene that held so much weight in my mind when I read it. It was the most brilliant writing that I had ever read. So really big shout out to Mindy and Lang and the rest of the writers for crafting something so beautiful, that scene specifically, but the series as a whole of being just such an incredible pioneer and something that has just truly been so groundbreaking in a way that is really freaking brilliant. So very lucky. And so our last question here. You know, is there any chance of like a spinoff? It ended off so beautifully. I'm like, oh my gosh, can we please get more? You know, um, I'm not going to say no because you never know. But as of now, there's no plans of that. I think that um, I could see us maybe like in 10 or 15 years doing like a film or something. I think that that's absolutely a, a possibility, but it depends on where we are in our careers and in our lives. And um you know, maybe there's like a, a friends reunion type special kind of deal. I don't know. You never know, right? I think that's up to Mindy and Lang and uh, Netflix and Universal. And uh, we'll just kind of see if that ever rolls into motion. I guess we'll find out where we are in our lives. And um, I don't know. But I appreciate the fans' passion for wanting that. You know, I think that that's something that a lot of people are going to be talking about. And I'm excited to hear those reactions. I think that's going to be very special to, to see that passion.